Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're having a fantastic week. You know, I look outside and I'm shocked because we don't have any snow. Now, I love the warm weather, but it doesn't really feel like Christmas without snow. And so I want to ask you guys, if you celebrate Christmas, what gets you into the Christmas spirit? Let me know in the comments below. But for now, be sure to grab your headphones and grab a drink. I got the iced tea again. It's time to make a video. Christmas is coming up really soon, so I just had to make a video about it. There's so much to celebrate this time of year. I'm a Christian, so I celebrate the birth of Jesus. If you celebrate something else, then happy holidays. But my favorite thing about this time of year is how people give gifts to others. That's right, I'm talking about presents. Growing up, my favorite part about Christmas was opening the presents. I even got to open one on Christmas Eve. I got so psyched for that. But as I got older, I started to enjoy giving gifts to others, and I learned the secret art of present wrapping. Not many people in the world know how to do this, but I'm just that type of guy. You know, sitting under my Christmas tree, I could always tell just by looking which presents were wrapped by me and which were wrapped by my brother. Because when it came to wrapping presents, he was kind of a noob. Well, Quiff, I don't know if you can tell just by looking at the presents which one's for you, but the big one right there was for you. I wrapped it myself. Isn't it really pretty? You mean the one with the tail coming out of it? What? Dude, you did not put Bella in a box, did you? Well, you see, she was getting on my nerves and I, You uh, go! Bella girl, I'm coming! Merry Christmas! Please, don't wrap your pets in a box. Anyway, wrapping presents is one of my favorite things to do leading up to Christmas. But in order to wrap presents, I need to have presents to wrap. And now for some people, getting them presents is an easy thing. They make a long list of items they want, and I just pick one off the list and surprise them. But for some people, it isn't that easy. For example, I love buying presents for my parents. But they already have everything they need. And so when I ask them for a list, they give me like a list of three things. Now how's a man supposed to surprise his parents if they know they're gonna get one of those three things? I don't know, maybe I could just buy them the new black Ops game and get them gaming. It's a great game. I think it's awesome. Maybe they'll like it too. Who knows? Dude, I can't believe you got me a present this year. This is great. Well, I didn't know what to get you, but I overheard you saying something that you really wanted. And so I got you that. Well, I have no idea what this could be. Stow? Dude, what's a stow? No, turn it over. Get it? Isn't that what you always wanted all these years of yeah. Black Ops? It's great. Yes! So to all the parents out there, help your sons and daughters out and give them a list longer than three things. You should see my list. It's like this long. Anyway, moving on. Have you ever gone shopping for a Christmas card a week before Christmas? Some people are totally fine spending a whole hour reading cards just to find the perfect one. These people also have a tendency to stand in a really popular spot in the card section. They won't move to let others see the cards they're looking at. Now, I'm not hating on these people. I just don't understand them. All I can say is that for me, my time is valuable. So when I go into the card store, I act like I'm on a search and destroy mission. Go in, find the best card, and securely take it home as fast as possible. Okay, maybe that's more like capture the flag, but you get the point. Anyway, on to the next one. I was shopping the other day and I saw this older guy try to act tough while he was picking out which Barbie doll he wanted to get for his daughter. Like, this guy was giving the dolls a mean mug. I'm assuming he wasn't buying it for himself, but if he was, to each their own, right? But this guy was trying to act so tough while picking out something so childish. And I'm willing to bet there are a lot of people out there like him. Now I have nothing against Barbie dolls, but if you happen to find yourself down that aisle, please don't be mean mugging all the dolls. They didn't do anything to you. Plus, it just looks funny. Anyway, I'll leave you with this last type of person that I love seeing when it's winter time. The people that wear their giant puppy ski coats everywhere they go. Love them. These people always bring a smile to my face because when I was in college, I wore this bad boy every day. It's cold up here in the Northeast, so we gotta stay warm somehow. Now, not everyone does this. Some people have the nice slim jackets, but hey, look at my guns. Seriously though, when I see other people wearing these coats, I smile because I'm glad
glad I'm not the only one. Because honestly, this looks really silly. My friends told me they could spot me from a mile away just because I'm wearing this coat. But hey, if it's 10 degrees outside, say I won't wear my giant ski coat and look like a red Kirby. Say I won't. But that's all I have for you guys this week. Thank you for watching. Be sure to hit like, subscribe, and comment down below. Tell me what you thought about this video. Also, I know not everyone out there celebrates Christmas, and I don't want to forget you guys. So I just want to say happy holidays to everyone. I hope you guys have a joy-filled week. And shout-outs, I can't forget the shout-outs. This week, my boy Dalton and Hector get the shout-outs. They've been hitting up my YouTube comments like crazy. And they're always one of the first people to comment, which lets me know that their notifications are turned on. And that, my friends, gets you guys a shout-out. So I just want to give a big thank you. You guys rock. If you want a shout-out in a future video, be sure to hit me up on all my social media sites and like and comment this video right down below. But until next time, I will see you guys later. I'm outie. Quick, I want my new jacket. It's so nice and keeps me warm. Dude, isn't that the same coat as I have? No. It's different. Whatever. Very Why are you wearing it inside? It's not even cold in here. Because I want to. Get a clone that wear my jacket and keep for one. To each his own. Sweet. You're just weird. Hey, what? Hey, what did you call me?